Hey, what's going on, guys? And welcome back to my channel. This is Bud Phantom Eighty One. Uh, I'm making a different video than usual, um, so I'm not here with my laptop or in my room. I'm actually just here at the parking lot, um, about to play basketball. And I'm making this quick video because I was here, let's say, like maybe 12 hours ago, and I was playing basketball, and then all of a sudden I felt like a really sharp pain in my chest. Um, so I immediately stopped and then I gave it like maybe 10 minutes or something and I still felt that pain uh, so I barely made it back to my car like it was difficult to walk or like use my arms all that much um, and like everything I did hurt my chest so like all the pain was here centralized in my chest um, so then I got to my car I was like okay I'm gonna just wait it out uh, so I gave it like 10 minutes 15 minutes and um, I still felt that pain uh, so I called my girlfriend just because like I was getting pretty scared um, that it was something worse and then like obviously I googled it like sharp pain after exercise and like you're gonna see the term heart attack or something even more serious uh, so that's when I called my friend who's a nurse or something like that he has a lot of credentials and uh, I asked him to drop me off at the ER um, because I, I didn't think I was in a good condition to drive um, so I went to the ER actually I stayed there for a long time for like maybe uh, a few hours not a few hours but it was a pretty long time actually so I checked into the ER at like 10 p.m. I think or 11 p.m. and then they did some they did a scan on my chest and the doctor said that my heart looks good but like just to be sure uh, they want to do like a, an additional blood test three hours after the pain started because that's um, that's when you notice like real signs of heart attacks is just like three hours after the initial uh, pain because it just wasn't in my bloodstream at the moment so long story short even if they were gonna find something they wouldn't have found it at that moment so we had to wait a little bit longer uh, and it ended up taking longer than, than three hours actually so I checked in at maybe like 11 or 11 30 p.m. Uh, they did some blood work I had like an IV hooked to me um, and then at around 4 a.m. is when like everything was finally done the final doctor came in and said your heart looks good uh, we think it's um, some kind of inflammation around your or inflammation in your chest around your heart area and uh, I don't remember what the exact name was but like when I googled that thing that they said I had um, it really fit the description perfectly um, so anyway long story short it ended up being nothing so I'm perfectly healthy I mean I'm healthy relatively healthy for the most part but the reason why I'm making this video is because um, when I was sitting here in my car I was like thinking about like what if it is something worse and obviously I'm trying not to freak out because like if I freak out or something then like I'm sure my uh, my heart rate would have increased maybe it would have made it worse I don't know but anyway so at the same time while trying to stay calm I obviously I can't help but think like what if it is something worse uh, so then I thought about like would I have done things differently like I thought about the money that I have uh, I'm 24 years old and I'm relatively like I have a pretty good amount that I've invested and in, like compounded over the years a lot of that has been done a lot of my growth has come from my own investments um, so it's not like I'm living you know to the penny it's not like I'm penny pinching or like living paycheck to paycheck uh, but at the same time I could have splurged a lot more than I have done in the past so there are some things I've sacrificed um, but I asked myself like if I would have done it differently like would I have spent more money on vacations would I have bought my dream car which is a Jaguar F-Type um, and I've seen two Jaguar F-types in the past few days actually so uh, it's pretty rare that I even see one just the fact that I saw two like back to back I was thinking like some weird stuff's gonna happen anyway <laughs> would I have done things differently and I can afford like two Jaguar F-types now if I wanted to but like the answer is no I would not have done things differently um, and investing is more than just money to me uh, it's First of all, the power of choice, and then second of all, like the power to make an impact. Um, when I'm in my 30s, when I'm in my 40s, I'll have 
probably a lot more money and if I want to make a difference in something then I can and I don't get enjoyment out of like chimp, s simple and cheap pleasures and just this entire process of investing and trading is so much fun to me um, especially trading like I think I'm probably up like 50% this year which is insane like you don't really you know you don't really see that all that often so I'm really happy with the investments I've made and yeah I'm making this video just because investing uh, and maybe a lot of you guys can relate but like it's more than just something that helps us live it's like it's really fun it's a hobby it's a passion um, but it just it's it's seen as a different light than the regular hobby um, but yeah so I don't know if you guys can relate would you guys have done done it differently um, if you guys have sacrificed some stuff let me know in the comment section down below and yeah so that's it for this video hope you guys enjoy the different format and I'll see you guys in the next video